July 23rd, 24. I did a statement earlier. I haven't uploaded it yet. But I went through how that uh, drug dealer Pete, all his scams, and it's a circus show of it, every law that can't be broken. Okay? From him lying that I have charges and I only have one traffic ticket. Him lying that I was found insane. I was never found insane. Never in a state hospital. Never had a judge take my rights away. I was not put on disability. I don't get a free apartment. I don't get my utilities paid by the state. Don't have a guardian. Don't have a social worker. He's just running around lying. Because what they're saying is the social security would owe me like half a million dollars back pay and i made a joke of okay you want to give me half a million dollars and a fancy fancy parking spot because that's how crazy this is he's just spewing shit out of his mouth and people lap it up like dogs okay Last night, outside my clients in North Canton, some guy and his kid pulled up and said, all these people driving by, I asked him why they're driving by. He said, uh, some church hired some drug dealer to drug beat and rape her. And he confessed. And they're driving by to see if something else happens. Where on July 8th, 24, drug dealer Pete at Altman Hospital Billing Department, you can hear him confessing. And it comes across the phone and these people hacked the case and sold it. That he called those men, he ordered them, he paid for them to come here, he paid for them to do everything to me. He paid for all those people to do everything to me and he pays for people to follow around and say stuff and do things to me. It's him. Where Dave told Danny how Pete on his own is Pete, the drug dealer, part of the drug cartel. Okay. I go in Walmart 62 today. Some idiot girls are in there laughing. Okay. Will and his gang are trying to make sure she gets no money out of this. They found out if they tried to list her and saying how much money they would have had to give her. And uh, they were trying to make sure she got no money out of this. Ha 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 ha. Okay, you idiot morons. The day that you think it's funny. That a federal police officer, when you call a hotline for help, goes and tells the church on you to call for help. Acts like a crazy occult person. Admits he told on that person four times on a recorded line. Okay. Bullies them. Makes them beg for their life. Badgers them into false statements under threats of arrest. The day you think it's funny that cops become criminals. There's something mentally wrong with you. And the day you think a cop opens a protective custody case with money, immunity, and statement and feeds that victim back to the cartel for any reason and lets their head get crushed in, raped, tortured, human trafficked. Huh? And steals that victim's money. And you think it's fucking funny. That a cop. A federal police officer is committing those heinous crimes. And stealing from cases. Like Sheriff Davis said. If he stole germ money. He stole to others. They go back through the cases. He's too arrogant. He's doing it in front of people. Where do you think on God's green earth. Any of this is funny. There's something mentally wrong with you. And you need psychiatric help. Because you want them to do it to you, right? You want Pete and the drug cartel break in your home. Sell you on porn sites. You want them to crush your skull in. You want to be raped and tortured, human trafficked. Drugged and framed and induced vomiting until your stomach shifts. Hmm? You want to be abused on ungodly levels and videos of it sold online for people's entertainment. You want this to happen to you. Right? That agent admitted on a record line he told on me four times acted like a crazy occult person. Okay? Like he's going along with them for their made-up pathetic reasons. 
making fun of me for rapist I've never met. The man that was covering me with bruises, throwing up, heart racing, severely infected. Almost passing out and he's drugging the hell out of me. Drugging me up and telling me to say stuff, photoshopping, washing. And it's a drug cartel guy running a drug scam. And you make fun of me for being a rape victim. Then you want it to happen to you, right? Or your family member. You want them to take you and torture you. They want you want to be sold for a sex life, right? Huh? You want your skull crushed in. You want to be induced vomiting until your stomach shifts up underneath your ribs. You want to almost be shot driving. You want to face stalkers and shooting. Them. You want to live through hell. You want them to take you and dismember you, right? Because that's what they do with them when they're done with them. You want the cartel to abuse you and your family, right? Because you think it's funny killing people. Because you're a psychopath. You don't feel sympathy, empathy, or remorse for people. You're a killer. That's why you laugh. You're morbid and insane. Otherwise, you'd find it disgusting. Just like my client's neighbor in North Canton, I asked those people why they're driving by. Said so that church was having her drug beaten right. Hired some drug dealer to do it. And the drug dealer confessed. And they're driving by to see if anything else happens. Now, where they said Will and his gang's mm -hmm. trying to make sure she don't get no money. Will, you embezzled $300,000 from the government and fed a human being back to the cartel. I don't care how much you wanted the fentanyl king. Dave and the church is my ass. You didn't mention about no drug lord. You didn't mention nothing about no fentanyl king. It would have been hide me, federal agent. You hide me now. That's crazy facing people like that. I'm a little old lady and you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Feeding a human being back to the cartel. My life is just as important as others and I almost died to save my family. The police that worked that case that agent opened up, they look at me like a hero. She's amazing. She has no training. She got us all this information on those people. And she almost died to save her family. They will speak so highly of me. It's ridiculous. And I speak very highly of them. People need to check themselves.